Hey guys, it's Drew here. Uh, today I'm going to tell you uh, how to potentially get a free 60 inch TV. Uh, a, a front projection just like this. Or you can get one for like 20 bucks. This thing is retail, was retail about $900 about. Uh, actually, they started out at like three or 4000 uh, I got this one for 900 the last year they were available. Uh, it's about 10 years old. I got it in 2007, the last year they did these. This is a uh, 60 inch. This is before they started doing uh, 60 inch flat screen TVs. This is a front projection TV right here. It's made by Panasonic. I love it. It's like a movie theater. Um, the catch is it has a huge fan in it and it runs on uh, fan power and it needs a fan to cool a light bulb that's in it. So there's actually a projection light bulb in there. Uh, it's not in this part right here. So what I want to show you today, a lot of people throw these TVs out or give them away on Craigslist because they can't get them to work. So this is a Panasonic 60 inch TV. So here we go. You ready guys? This is a simple fix. All you do is pull the panel off here, just like that. It's got four little snaps on it, okay? You get a, you can use a Phillips or a flathead. Phillips works better, although I think I stripped this screw. I've already pre-loosened this for the video. Pull this out right here, okay? Behind here, there's a bulb projection housing. Now you wanna do this, if, you're, if it's just burned down on your TV, you wanna do it while your TV's cool. Okay, here it is. You can obviously see that this one is burned out um, or it's having some issues. Okay, you can sometimes see if the filament's available in there. This one's probably at its life. Okay, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of wear. Oh, yeah. This one's definitely burned out, I believe. Okay, so this is a big part. Uh, these are 20 bucks on eBay and uh, 20 to 40 on eBay. So what you do is you look up if it's still on the TV, this is 60 inch. On the side of the TV here, there's a little code, PT60LCX64. Now that is a sticker, so that could be pulled off. Somebody might have pulled that off. If you don't have the instruction manual, you can also Google or take the measurements of the screen. You can also Google uh, what size TV yours is. So anyway, just a, a simple fix for, like I said, when you turn on, the TV, if this red light here is flashing, and there'll usually be a little light here that'll flash, it'll say bulb, or uh, I think it says lamp. This is what you need. Simple fix, it's just something that people don't see because it's hidden. Oh yeah, it's definitely not working, you hear it? Oh yeah. So, you know, you don't always hear the bulb break. This one has had it. So, uh, I ordered another one, and uh, it's real easy to install. So it's a great way to get a free TV if you've got somebody who doesn't know how to repair these. Uh, or if you're somebody who uh, has one of these, simple fix. Now it can also be very rarely. You, you should always hear that fan when, it, when you turn on the TV. Sometimes it'll turn off. The fan is right here. This is the fan housing behind the bulb. That fan has to be running in order to uh, cool this big light bulb here that's like a headlight on a car. If that fan doesn't work, your TV also will not work, okay? So, if this light is flashing red, and when you try to turn it on, it flashes green, usually that's the issue. You just need a light bulb. Free TV if you find one on Craigslist. Also, uh, if you're trying to repair one yourself, simple fix. When these first came out, the bulbs were like two to $300. It's ridiculous. Now there's generic bulbs on eBay for 20 bucks. It's awesome. All right, guys, I hope this helps. This is Drew. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, and if this, if this video helps you out, like it. And, uh, you know, tell some people about it. All right. Hope you find a free TV. This is an awesome 60-inch. I love this. I paid 900 bucks for it. You don't have to. Have a good one, guys.